today is to create crops that can be locally assembled with local materials guided by local traditional techniques. But before that, we will travel first to Southeast Asia and discover their arts, crops, and sculpture especially to Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore. Are you ready for the different challenges? Let's start! Before we proceed, let us have an activity. And this activity is called Find Me. All you need to do is to identify the country of origin of the following pictures. Here is the first one. You got it right! This artwork is from Indonesia. What about this picture? Brilliant answer! This is from Malaysia. What about this one? Awesome answer. This is from Thailand. What about this picture? Correct. The picture is from Cambodia. What about the last picture? Right, this picture is from Singapore. Good job, class. Top your shoulder for your great answer. First, let's go ahead and take a look at Indonesia. The Wayang Kulit. Wayang Kulit is a type of puppet shadow play performed around the Indo Malayan archipelago tracing its origin to India. It is derived from the Javanese Hindu-Buddhist tradition where handcrafted leather puppets defect epic stories of the gods in a shadow play. Waya, in modern Indonesian language, means show or perform. Kulit means skin. Others say that Wayang is also attributed to the Indonesian word Bayang which means shadow. Next is Malaysia. The Wow Kite. Wow Kite is a uniquely designed Malaysian kite. Its wings are similar to an Arabic letter pronounced as Wow. Kite making comes naturally to Malaysian people. Farmers use wow kite as scarecrows in the fields and as means to lull the children to sleep. Now, flying kite has become a popular sport not just in Malaysia but also internationally. 
Malaysia has been celebrating kite festivals annually like Pasir Gudang International Kite Festival. Thailand Featuring the Sky Lantern Festival Sky lanterns are used during the year 4 festivals and also commonly called as wish lanterns. It is made up of rice paper with a bamboo frame which contain a fuel cell or small candle. Loy Kratong Festival The most popular festival held on the night of the 12th full moon, usually in November. Now, we have also a design showcasing the expertise of the people in Singapore. The Merlion the Mer Lion is the national symbol of Singapore. It depicted as a mythical creature with the head of a lion and the body of fish. You see, Southeast Asians hold their unique style because of their culture, beliefs, and traditions. Now class, let's proceed to your second task. And I will challenge you for the last time. You are going to make your own wire kulit puppet by following the step-by-step -step procedure. Before we proceed to your activity, this is how you are going to be graded on your puppet output. Here's the materials in making a wire kulit puppet. Pattern or template, cardboard, scissors, puncher, barbecue stick, adhesive tape, and coloring materials. Here are the steps in making your own wayang kulit puppet. Step 1. Draw or trace a pattern on a cardboard. Step 2. Draw your design on the puppet's body. Step 3. Punch the hole in the areas where you want to attach the puppet's arms and legs. Step 4. Attach the body parts together using paper fastener or any available materials. Step 5. Attach the stick to the puppet using adhesive tape. And you are done with your own wayang kulit puppet. Good job class! I'm so excited to see your work! Please take a picture in each step as shown in the procedure and pass your artwork to your mobile teacher. Now class, here are the other techniques and styles of making a wayang kulit puppet that you can also use. Additional activity Directions Name at least one Philippine artwork which has similar characteristic with Southeast Asian arts. Explain their similarities. Write your answer in a piece of paper and submit your works to your MAPE teacher. Art has been part of Southeast Asian culture throughout centuries. 
Southeast Asian people show their artwork through fabrics and exhibit other artworks through festivals. Each has external and internal uniqueness. If you have queries and clarifications of today's lesson, feel free to send them to your arts teachers through the Messenger Classroom. Once again, this is Kathleen R. Molo, your teacher in arts. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this session. Good day everyone! See you next time! Makinig, 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 maputi! Handa mo na ngayon ang iyong sarili, tayo ay ma-